It is September 13th, 2016. I haven't made an update in a while, so I have a bunch of things to show. I'm not sure if I put this in the last part I uploaded, but we have the door on, and yesterday we got the deadbolt in. We still don't have the piece for the actual handle here. In, but we'll be putting that in in a few days. Inside, I put all the sills on the windows around, and the outside is also sealed up. It's kind of a sloppy job on the outside, and I might redo it next summer, but for right now, it'll keep the water out. I moved all the tools and everything in here just to kind of keep everything even because I'm going to be moving in in a week or two. And right now, up we got this ceiling up yesterday. And um, I'll be putting in the trash pit ceiling fan in a week or two as soon as I get it cleaned up and fixed. And upstairs, I installed that light last night. I put all of the baseboards on, and I have a little hanging thing there that I'm going to put clothes in. And right now I'm working on putting that around all the windows. I just got this one up a few minutes ago. We still have to do these triangles and the larger triangle over there, which has a crack in the bottom that has to be sealed. But after that, everything should be sealed up. We, one of the boards outside hadn't been screwed down, and we got a little bit of water in the insulation, in right in this spot. But luckily, there's a 2x4 right here, which stopped the water, so it was only this piece that got wet, and it's able to dry out because we hadn't closed that up yet. But that's screwed down now. And we will be painting the outside just to temporarily protect it as soon as we get paint in the next week or two. It is September 24th right now. And I was originally planning on moving in on the 20th, but because there was still a bunch of stuff that needed to be done, a lot of smaller stuff, I've decided to postpone it for about a month just to finish up last little bit of stuff. Obviously, there's still a bunch of smaller stuff, and like the solar panels, and the bathroom that's going to get finished next summer. But before I move in, there's just a few more things that really need to be finished up. Right now, I'm working on wiring up the breaker box. And it's completely wired up here, but I have this wire, which, until I get the solar panels, I'm going to have hooked up on top of the house, and ran to the larger house and the main panel inside and we already have that inside hooked up and the wires are going to have to be connected because this one isn't long enough but I have to build some beams to keep it off the ground and I started moving a few things in got a few curtains chair, I moved in some art supplies, and I put all of the that around the windows. This is mostly just a temporary couch, but it's a piece of foam and blankets and pillows. I moved some stuff in up there. Both upstairs ones are done, and I've moved in a few pairs of pants and stuff up there. That still isn't done. The cutting board and in the bathroom. I installed the composting toilet. It's just a temporary one. I'm going to get an actual one eventually, but I have peat moss and everything. So hopefully that works. It is December 23rd right now, and I took a break for, from working on the house for a long time after school started, and one of the main reasons I haven't 
I had planned to move in by now, but I haven't because we haven't gotten to either the propane heater or the wood stove that we're welding. Uh, but there are a few small things like curtains. I redid the stairs because Leon was having a lot of trouble getting around the sharp right angle turn there. We have a TV in here temporarily because Lane and I were out here one night and playing a bunch of different games and stuff. I built this cutting board at school in my woodshop class, but it flips down here across the walkway. This cutting board still isn't done yet. And then just today it's kind of sloppy because this whole cabinet isn't square, but I built this piece. Flips down out of the wall for a table. And as of right now, I'm pretty sure that that's about it. It's February 17th, and I figured I'd make just a quick little update of a bunch of small stuff that I've done. I've been working on the outside a lot. You can't really tell, but I finished getting stuff screwed down and a bunch of stuff around the windows that are sealed. Out here, I put this chicken fence around the yard all the way up to there and that's because I'm going to be getting chickens in a few months and so that Leon is able to run around in this area when we're over here and then inside I've just been doing a bunch of smaller stuff like a bunch of blankets up there that I've got just to kind of make the whole place more cozy I did some work on the kitchen so the kitchen is basically finished now. There's still a little bit of stuff that has to be done, but I got the cutting board. I put a splash guard back there. Uh, I finally got a permanent light installed up there. And I was organizing the bathroom and all the tools and everything in there today. And in the loft, I just have a bunch of blankets and everything down. And I got this IKEA memory foam mattress a few days after Christmas. So the bed, for the most part, is done. And I got everything in the house. These triangles and the triangles over there insulated with this. So everything except the the boxes around the wheel walls are completely insulated and sealed now. And I plan on moving in the 1st of March, as long as we have the wood stove. And before, my dad was welding a wood stove, but we found this old stove in my grandpa's basement. So hopefully later this week we're going to be going and getting the pipes for it. And they're just going to go out that wall there. And I think that that's everything that's new. It is March 15th today. And we got the stove pipes a week or two ago. And we're, we are working on getting them in. I cut the hole. And move. I had to move the stud over. Well, not really move it over, but... I had to cut it and uh, build cross pieces to support the metal ring that goes through the wall. And then the that's a 10 inch piece and the stove pipe is 8 inches. And we have these steel pieces that are 8 inches that go around the hole and help support the stovepipe in the middle of that. And right now my dad's working on getting the stovepipe uh, correctly fitted to the T-shapes so for the right angles because they didn't have any double walled stovepipes for right angles where we got them. 
So I'll make an update when we get this in. It is the next day right now, and we weren't quite able to finish last night because it got to be like 8 o'clock. But uh, I had to take off the whole, the outer sheathing of the wall and finish the framing and cut the hole for the stovepipe. But we got that on now, and I just put the insulation back up. And outside, we have this piece attached, and we're getting the four foot and the two foot piece to go above that. And then we have the ring to help support it. It'll go on top. Okay, so we got the stove completely in now. We're waiting for my mom to get home to start the fire, but Lane's here too somewhere. Not sure where he went. But everything's hooked on and ready now. Alright, first fire. 